an early Fed pivot would be the biggest mistake that the Federal Reserve would do if they were to do this now or the first quarter of next year. Hey everyone, it's Daniel from InfraVest. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to just talk a little bit more on this Fed pivot. I know I did a video just recently this week about the Fed pivot, but I want to talk about why this would be a little bit more, why this would be a very, very bad decision. It would make things worse off, in my opinion. Now, a lot of the Fed members that have been coming out lately on the wires have been saying that, okay, we could see a 75 basis point rate hike in November, which we're expected to get very soon, and then maybe a 50 or 75 in December, and then from there, probably we will stop raising rates, rate hiking less aggressively, and the markets are taking this as a pivot is coming from the Federal Reserve. They're slowing down. They are worried about what is to come. Now, I don't disagree with the fact right, uh, that, yes, CPI is a lagging indicator. I, I, I do agree with that CPI is a lagging indicator and, you know, the Fed should not over tighten and blah, 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 blah. I totally understand that. But, however, thinking what the markets are, are thinking right now, that a pivot of going from hiking rates to all of a sudden maybe easing up is not going to solve the problem with inflation. Although, yes, it is a lagging indicator, a CPI is a lag lagging indicator, but you do have other indicators and other data out there that could suggest that, you know, CPI could continue to move up higher with the geopolitical tensions, the supply chain, the commodity, the crude oil, the natural gas, the electricity bills, the food energy, food and energy prices that continue to be elevated. That still needs to come down. And if we start thinking and talking about a Fed pivot right now, where the Fed is going to come in and all of a sudden stop tightening, all of a sudden cutting rates or stimulating the economy, in, in, uh, even if there's, especially if there's no break in the economy, there's no moment of breaking, and we all of a sudden do that because the markets say so, or the market anticipates it, and the Federal Reserve is worried about over-tightening, then that's going to exacerbate the pain even more. Sure, equities could rally, bonds could rally, it could make a new high, but it doesn't mean you solved the problem with inflation. It doesn't mean that you cracked the inflation problem and doesn't mean that we're going to hit the 2% target. In fact, it would be worse off because you would exacerbate inflation even more by printing more money, by doing quantitative easing, by cutting rates, by making things more, um, you know, uh, creating a more easing environment, which would push up inflation higher, which would mean that, guess what? If we do see some sort of easing in the markets, then the Fed will have to come back harder and they would have to tighten harder. Now on top of that, an easing scenario would cause the US yield curve to basically steepen. And what ha would happen on a Fed pivot is you would get the two year, the shorter end of the bond curve, the yields there to come down and basically the prices to move up and the long end of the bond curve in the, in the US Treasury market, you would see the yields continue to be elevated or the 30 year and the long end sell off or not move up as aggressively. So you would create a steepening in the curve because the long end would start to price in that if we got a Fed pivot, then we're gonna get higher inflation because on the rate side of things, we expect it to be easing off. And if you get that scenario where you're going to get higher inflation uh, expectations to come down the road and the bond market, especially the long end of the bond market, pricing that in, then guess what? The 30-year yields on the 30-year bonds will continue to move up higher and be elevated. And that's going to create possibly a break movement moment. Right. And maybe that is what we need. Maybe we do need the Fed to come out and pivot and make a mistake 
make another policy error, completely make a mistake. The markets go up and there's this huge rally and in people thinking that, okay, this, the bottom is in, we're out of the woods and, uh, you know, we can hold hands and sing Kumbaya and we're going to Honolulu and we're, we're all going to be fine. But in fact, I would not trust that rally, especially if it were to be done now, a pivot now or early pivot before something breaks, because that, I believe, would be a setup to a massive drop, especially if the long end yields continue to be elevated, especially if your mortgage rates continue to be elevated and there's all this money printing that's happening and the long end of the yield curve starts to price in. 30-year bonds start to price in more inflation, hotter inflation. What is that going to do to the treasury market? What is that going to do to pension funds, UK pension funds? What is that going to do to the loans and the bonds and, and the whole financial system that is heavily leveraged and invested in the long end duration? If those yields move up, something's going to break. And maybe we need that. Maybe we need that. Maybe we need the screw up from the Federal Reserve to do the Fed pivot too early, and then you get some sort of financial collapse or some sort of collapse in terms of a pension fund or a financial system breaking or maybe something in UK breaking, which would then maybe bring that inflation down. Would it bring, bring it down to the 2% target? I don't know. Uh, maybe get close to it, or maybe it does. Um, but it would be very interesting to see that happen. But definitely... Don't think that the Fed pivot is long-term good for the equity market, the bond market, especially if it happens now or the next three months uh, in the first quarter, if nothing breaks, if everything is still as is and we do the Fed pivot, then it would not make sense in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified on the next video and I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.